Welcome to our series of tutorials on Logic 2, a brand new application to debug your hardware using your Salier Logic Analyzer. You can download the Logic 2 application from the link shown here. In this tutorial, we'll learn about capturing data. First, let's connect our Logic Analyzer to the PC using its included USB cable. For this tutorial, we'll also connect channel 0 to a 5 volt square wave. Now let's head to the Capture Settings panel. We'll configure channel 0 for digital data capture. For future reference, you can also enable other channels for data collection here. The sampling rate, which is displayed in samples per second, determines the speed at which the logic analyzer will record data. In this example, we'll use a sampling rate of 500 mega samples per second, or in other words, 500 million samples per second. Please note that in cases where USB bandwidth availability may be limited, such as when other high-speed USB devices are also connected to your computer, you may want to decrease the sampling rate. The drop-down box to the right allows you to select the voltage range of the incoming signal. Specifically, this setting will adjust the digital voltage threshold of the logic analyzer. For example, the 1.2 volt setting allows you to measure 1.2 volt signals by setting the digital threshold to half that value, or in other words, 0.6 volts. Similarly, 1.8 and 3.3 volts will set the threshold to 0.9 and 1.65 volts respectively. In this example, we'll be measuring a 0 to 5 volt square wave, so let's select the 3.3 plus volts option. Let's also set up the software to take an analog capture of channel 0. Here you'll notice the values to the right of the sampling rate. This indicates that by selecting this specific sampling rate, the digital sampling rate will also change to the value shown notice the digital value change. Please keep in mind that while Logic supports many digital and analog sampling rate combinations, it does not support all combinations. Let's go back and select 50 mega samples per second for analog. This will change the digital sampling rate back to 500 mega samples per second. We have three modes of data capture, looping, timer, and trigger. For this tutorial, we'll use the timer method as this provides the simplest form of data capture there are two settings you should be aware of. The stop recording after setting will set the duration of the capture. We'll set that to two seconds. The memory buffer setting will set the maximum RAM you would like to allocate for holding the recorded data. For our PC, we have about four gigabytes of available RAM. We'll set this to one gigabyte as this amount should be more than enough to hold our, our two second long capture. Now let's start our capture. Once the capture is completed, we can navigate the capture by using our mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out, and by dragging with your left mouse button to pan the data. As an alternative, you can also use the up and down arrow keys and the left and right arrow keys to zoom and pan respectively. For more ways to interact with your capture data, you can also open our keyboard shortcuts window, as this will show you uh, several more interaction uh, capabilities of our software. Now that we've finished our capture, we'll show you two ways to save your data. First, if you want to keep your recorded data and you plan on taking a new data capture, you'll want to create a new capture session by clicking on the plus icon at the bottom. This will allow you to start a new capture while keeping your previously recorded data. Second, if you'd like to save a current session tab to a file, navigate to the preferences options and click save current tab. Once saved, you can reopen it by clicking Open Capture. This concludes our first basic tutorial on how to use Logic 2. By now, you should have the ability to configure your capture as well as record some data and save your recorded data. This should be enough to get you started with the most basic features, but that's just the tip of what Logic 2 is capable of. We can't wait to go over some more advanced features in upcoming videos. As always, if you have any specific questions or feedback, Visit our Logic 2 form in the link here.